The grid controls ships with a built-in filter editor dialog that allows end users to build filter criteria of any complexity using either the tree-like filter builder interface or a text editor with hints, much like Visual Studio IntelliSense. In this video, you'll learn how end users can invoke this dialog, what options affect its availability, and how you can invoke it from code and customize it before it's displayed. To invoke the Filter Editor, right-click any column header and select Filter Editor in the context menu. By default, the Filter Editor displays filter criteria as a tree, where individual nodes represent simple filter conditions. The root node is the logical operator combining all conditions. Any filter condition consists of three parts, a column name, criteria operator, and operand value. If the grid's data is not filtered, the editor contains one incomplete filter condition for the clicked column. Click the value box and select medium in the dropdown list. Click OK to close the editor and apply changes. As a result, the grid displays only records with a priority set to medium. Now you can invoke the filter editor using the edit filter button within the filter panel. To add a new filter condition, click the plus button next to the root node. This can also be done by clicking the logical operator and selecting Create Condition. Select Name in the list of available columns. Then use the Contains Comparison operator and enter the vendor string in the value box. Next, click Apply to filter data without closing the editor. The grid now displays records with medium priority and names containing vendor in them. Now delete all filter conditions by clicking their Remove buttons or by selecting the Clear All in the logical operator's menu. You can now create a more complex filter criteria. To create a new condition group, click the root logical operator and select Add Group. Change the created logical operator to OR and create two new conditions within this group. This condition will select records that have high priority or status set to new. In the same manner, create one or more OR condition groups with two conditions. This condition will select records with the created date between January 1st and today, or those where the fixed date is greater than April 1st. Now click OK to filter data using the created criterion. You'll see the entire filter condition displayed in the filter panel. Now try a different filter condition editor UI. At design time, access the view settings, expand options filter, and set the default filter editor view property to text. Now run the application and invoke the filter editor. Now you can type a filter string directly into the embedded rich text editor. Drop down lists of operators and field names are automatically invoked when typing a filter much like the Visual Studio IntelliSense feature. Locate the same property and set the editing mode to visual and text. The filter editor will display both the visual and text editors in their own tabs. If you don't want end users to invoke the dialog from the column header menu, set the Allow Filter Editor property to false. And now we don't have any edit filter buttons available. Now return to design time and see how the filter editor can be invoked and customized in code. I already have the Show Filter Editor button in the ribbon control. In the click handler, call the views show filter editor method to invoke the filter editor in visual style. Additionally, handle the views filter editor created event, which is raised when the filter editor is about to be displayed. In the event handler, customize the value color using the appearance value color property in the events filter editor parameter. Enable the show opera and type icon option to allow values of the one column to be compared to values in other columns or to predefined constants. Now let's run the application and click the Show Filter Editor button. In the Invoked Editor, add a new condition and then click the Operand Type icon that's now displayed on the left of the Remove button. 
Click the value box, select date and time constants, and choose this year. And change the comparison operator to less than. Let's add another condition that selects records where priority is medium. Note that the value is painted using the red color as specified in the event handler. 